Oh, jam! Hello again, and welcome back to another episode of Chewie's Beginner's Guide to the Arena. Uh, I got a lot of good feedback on the last one, and you guys wanted to see more. Sorry it's taken so long, but I've had a lot of stuff going on lately. In fact, this is the very first recording with the new uh, camcorder thing, instead of the little gimpy webcam that you're so used to. So hopefully this is better. I hope, but enough of that. I'm also recording the audio on three different devices to figure out which one's the best. So hopefully what you're hearing is the best. All right, so Arena, again, is Hearthstone's answer to drafting in Magic. And it's all random, so what we have here. I have not done an Arena run since the videos, so uh, sorry about that. But we have the Druid. You were right to awaken me. We were. Uh, the hunter. Only beasts are above deceit. Beasts? He talks like he has a mouthful of teeth. Beasts are above deceit. You know. And thrall the shop. Earth and fire, heed my call. Yay. So, I asked everyone, hey, what classes should I do? But that was a long time ago, and I honestly don't remember. So, I'm you just gonna right do to druid. Awaken me. Yeah, I was right to awaken. You said that already. Shut up. Because he's one of my favorite classes to arena with, so... Sorry about that. So for this video, I'm just gonna walk you through the draft. We'll pick up games after that, because this is a test. I don't want to have a six-hour video for the test. Uh, Force of Nature is amazing and constructed. It's not so much in uh, arena. The Mini Mage... No, Ancient of War is clearly just amazing. It's either a 10-5, it's never a 10-5, or it's a 5-10 with Taunt. So... That will stop uh, most arena decks cold. Light Warden, I won't be healing in this deck. Demolisher is cute. It's a mech. It's got that going for it. Other than that, uh, so I'll just take the Imp Master because it's a nice steady stream of bodies uh, on the board. Let the bodies hit the board. <laughs> All right. What in God's name? Uh, Master Swordsmith by himself. Now remember, in Arena, you're you're wanting to pick minions based on how good they are on their own merit for the most part. So the Master Swordsmith is a 1-3 for 2. That's really terrible. Uh, the Pint Size Summoner and the Crazed Alchemist are both 2-2s two for 2. That's cool. Uh, first minion you play costs one less and swap the attack. These are... I don't have much experience with either one, so they're both... Okay, I guess? I don't know. Uh... I got nothing, man. I guess I'll take the summoner because... Reasons? <laughs> I'll take the summoner because hopefully if it'll if it survives, then next... You know what? No, no. The if it survives, it'll do something is dumb. So I will take the crazed alchemist because it's a 2-2 two, two for 2. It's probably not going to survive a turn, and I'll go ahead and get its effect and some use out of it. Ha! There we go, logic. Oh god. Alright, Starfire is removal, 5 damage draw a card. Direwolf Alpha buffs your dudes that are next to it, and then Savage Roar is a win condition. Let's just take that, because it looks like, as it stands right now, I'm gonna have lots of little dudes. Uh, restore 8 health is whatever, that's more of a constructed card to keep yourself alive. It doesn't actually do anything. Ironforge Rifleman is a 2-2 two, two for 3. Kind of sucks, but the ping is f decent. I'm going to take the Mad Bomber because well, he's a 3-2 two for 2, so that's good. And then the Battle Cry is just fun. He throws bombs. It can hurt you. It can turn a game around either for you or against you. I like a little RNG. We'll take it. Okay, so for this pick, we've got this guy, 1-4 charge taunt for 3. Not good. It's not good. This is one of those last picks, especially because these two are actually pretty good. The end of those Robocub is either a 3-2 or a 2-3 with Taunt, depending on what you need. Those are both really good. Well, not really good, but those are both fine. And the Spider Tank as a 3-4-3 is just solid. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take that. Yeah. Uh Tide Hunter. 
Gives you two bodies, but they're really easy to remove for two mana. Haunted Creeper is better in Constructed than in Arena, it turns out. Because he's just a 1-2. Sure, it summons two guys, but eh. And the Dread Corsair is a 3-3 three, three for four. We won't have a weapon because we're a druid. So that doesn't really help. So I'm actually going to take the Haunted Creeper, even though he's probably not the best. Oh, wow. So this is crap. This is always crap. Savagery? No. A. No. Because it requires you to do something else. So you have to activate his hero power and spend a card and a mana. So you're spending three mana and a card to deal one damage to something? Eh. And if you have other things like Bite and Claw and all that, then it's it's not good. Defender of Argus is amazing. Sledge Belcher is amazing. I'm going to go Sledge Belcher. Personal preference. 2-2 uh, two -two with Taunt is fine. 2-3 two with Wind Fury for 3 is okay. Mechanical Yeti is ridiculous. Ooh, here's some fun. Okay, Young Priestess is decent at 1 because she buffs one of your other dudes at the end of the turn. Uh, Arcane Golem is not a 3-drop. Do not play this on turn 3 unless you're about to win on turn 3. And if you are, you're probably not playing Arena. Because it gives your opponent a mana crystal, that is terrible drawback for you. Uh, you want to use this as a finisher for the most part. But the Volcanic Lumberer, the cost one less for each minion that died this turn is such a cool effect, and it looks like I'm going to have lots of little dudes. I'm actually going to take it because a 7-8 for Taunt for, let's say, we can get it down to 6. Three things died this turn, that's not bad. Then that's amazing. So yeah, we'll just, we'll just take that and see how it works. So healing touch is not cool. Dark scale healer is fine. But again, probably not the best. I think I'm going to take the claw as a bit of early removal, actually, because I don't have much going on in the early turns. And later in the game, it's it's a nice to get that taunt out of your way so you can win, that sort of thing. I think I might have just talked myself out of it, actually. <laughs> All right, I will take the dark scale healer because it is the 4-5 body. And it gives you two health back, if nothing else. Plus it heals up anybody else. So you can run your guys into your opponent's creatures to do stuff. And then heal them back up with... Yeah, okay. We're, yeah. My bad. Ooh. Um. So 3-2 for 2 is perfectly solid. I don't have any other Murlocs. I don't see myself doing anything Murloc related. The silence is good. And this guy is just beefy. Especially later in the game when he's a 9-9. Nine, nine. I, I actually think I'm going to take the Crusher. Yo always want a silence or two, but... I think I think I want... Yeah, yeah give me the big guy. Yeah, beef. Beef. Uh, Mech Warper is a 2-3 two, for 2. The 2-3 two, for 2 is good by itself. I can't... Well, I guess I do have a Spider Tank and a Yeti, but I wouldn't be taking it at this point for uh, Mech Synergy. I'd be taking it because I need 2 drops. Uh, the Geomancer is... Same thing, I wouldn't be taking it for spell damage, I'd be taking it because I need two drops, but it's a 2-2 two, two for two. But in this case, do I have any beasts? I have one beast, a hunted creeper. If I had more beasts, the Druid of the Fang would be awesome. But my curve is already a little high, so I'm going to go ahead and take the Mech Warper because I don't have beasts. Of course, now I'll get like three Druid of the uh, Claw in a row and be really pissed, but it's fine. And look, no beasts. Awesome. 2-1 uh, with charge, 2-1 with draw a card, or a ping for free. I'm going to take the loot hoarder to draw a card. There's a druid of the claw. So again, healing touch is kind of whatever. Dancing swords. Stats are fine, but the opponent drawing a card is a little rough. But druid of the claw is just one of the best cards in the class. So yeah. Oh my god, what is this? Okay, so this guy is not great. Too far for four. That stat line isn't good. Sunwalker is such a pain for the opponent. Taunt and Divine Shield and a big body. Ooh. But then Azure Drake draws a card and it's a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, I hate these picks. How's my curve look? My curve is heavy on five. You know what? I'll take the Sunwalker at six and start leaning back towards the, the bottom of the curve. I say that and I get a Force Tank Max. Balls. Okay, the poison seeds is uh, whatever. Kill everything and give us all two twos. Ah, whatever. I don't like it. 
Reckless Rocketeer is a finisher or a, a removal spell essentially for six mana, which means it's not great. And then Force Take Max is amazing. Huge with Divine Shield. Yeah. Here we go. Now we're getting into some early drops. Uh, because of my Mech Warper, Swamp is is good in like constructed for countering weapons and arena i don't know if that's great again i'm not a great arena player i'm just saying uh worgen infiltrator is dead against druid rogue mage so i'm gonna take the spider tank because again very solid hello one drops so voodoo doctor kind of sucks shield bear stands in the way but he doesn't do any damage so no I'm going to go for the Clockwork Gnome again because I have a Mech Warper and because he's just generally the best out of these three. Because the spare parts actually mean something later in the game, you know. Mm -hmm. Where are we at? 19. Okay. Well, look, a Murloc Tide Color. No. Uh, another Arcane Golem. And then Wailing Soul. The Silence Your Other Minions is sort of a pain. But if it's going to be a pain, you just don't play it. I like that it's a 3 5 for 4. Also, don't really have much of a 4 drop slot going on at the moment. What have I got? A mechanical yeti. So I'm going to take the Wailing Soul and it's great after he clears the board. Boards are going to be cleared quite a lot, so it's not like we're going to silence six guys or something. Yeah, let's just do that. Hello. Another spider tank. Souls of the Forest. Probably not great in this deck. Probably not great hardly ever, actually. Bloodfin Raptor. I need more two drops. What have I got? One, two, three, four, five and a one drop? Oh, okay, maybe not. Well, I'll just take the other spider tank then. That's fine. Hello. And all of this is paying off. So now we get the Gilblin Stalker. 2 3 for stealth for 2 is amazing. But I don't think I can pass up the mech synergy of the 4 4. How many mechs do I have now? 1, 2, 2, 2, 2 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to take the technician. I will just go all three drops. There's a Druid of the Flame. Argent Squire is really good. Drew the Flame is fine. I don't know. It might be good. 5 2 and 2 5 are both good for 5 or for 3 mana. But there's a Micro Machine, more mechs, and he's, if left alone, he will win you the game. We're just going to take the Micro Machine. Huh. Speaking of if a Micro Machine lives, hide him behind a Death Lord. He'll live forever. The problem with the Death Lord is, of course, it's Death Rattle which can up and kill you, depending on how your opponent's deck is. Mana Wraith is actually pretty funny on two, because it slows your opponent down by a turn. Granted, it slows you down too, but, you know, whatever. A little Exorcist I just don't... I just don't like, because a 2-3 three for three with Taunt is kind of lame. And you don't want to count on your opponent having Death Rattle minions. So... I'm actually going to take the Mana Wraith, because... Am I? Yeah, I do want some more 2-drops. I'm going to take the Mana Wraith for its disrupting purposes and for its purposes of, you know, staying on the board. How many spells do we have? Got what, like, th three sources of spare parts? And Savage Roar? And that's it. Okay, so Mana Addict is not good. Argent Commander is a nice finisher, but our top of the slot here is kind of lame. Got two fives, two sixes, a seven, an eight, and a nine. Arr, let's take another mana raid. Argent Commander's great, but it's too expensive. Uh, Unstable Ghoul does what it does. Gets in the way, deals some damage. Mark of Nature's not great. I mean, it's fine every once in a while. And another Savage Roar? I think I might actually take the other Savage Roar. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. The Trog is a really good 2-drop because it's a 2-3 and it has the ability to get bigger. Puddle Stomper is a 3-2 by itself, whatever. Dark Iron Dwarf is such good value. It's a 4-4 four, for four, 4 and it's actually a 6-4 for 4 because something gets bumped. I'm going to take him. And again, our 4-drop slot. Slot. Slop? Four, blah, it's kind of bad. Light Warden sucks. Seeker Keeper sucks because we have no secrets. And even if we did, it still kind of sucks. So, Questing Adventurer it is. Are we done yet? 28. How's our curve look? Or we are heavy on 2 and 3. 4, 5, and 6, and 7 are almost equal. Oh my god, this is a weird deck. Let's take the Stranglethorn Tiger for that purpose. I would say let's take the Violent Teacher. Violet, not violent. It is violent. 
the Violet Teacher, but I again, we've only got the two spells and... Actually, no, I think that's fine. I don't want a third Mana Wraith. Oh, God. So let's take the Violet Teacher, because Violet Teacher will draw hate. They'll they'll kill it. I know I'll kill it if I see one. I, just, I gotta kill it. So whether we're gonna use it or not, they're gonna hopefully kill it. So let's go with that. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so there's our deck. It's not great, but I don't think it's bad by any means. I hope not anyway. So, stay tuned. Next time, we'll take it for a spin and see how it goes. I keep looking at the screen and not at the lens. I'm sorry. So if it looks like I'm not looking you in the eye, it's because I'm not. I'm looking me in the eye because I... I'm so pretty. And I'm not used to being able to see me as I record because I'm recording with the webcam software. It doesn't, it doesn't see it. So yeah, like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to know as soon as new videos go up. You can help me out, support what I do here with the videos and the podcasts and all of that by checking out the Patreon page. You can get all the videos 24 hours early and all the Mana Pool episodes like 48-ish hours early. Uh, also, the advent of this new camera means there'll be more magic content on this uh, channel coming soon. Super excited, but I wanted to take it for a test run, and this is the best way to do that. So, there you go. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know where I picked wrong, what was bad, what, what you would have done, what I do. Did I screw it up? I better screwed it up. Tell me how I screwed it up. And no fair going back later after I've already played games and commenting to tell me where I screwed up. I don't know. Tell me now. I'm talking to you. This has been our second draft in Joey's Beginner's Guide to the Arena. Thank you all very much for watching, and uh, go play some arena. That's really good. Blessing of Kings is stupid. Four mana plus four plus four turns your stupid little one one into a sudden, amazing, terrifying threat. This is another one that has wrecked me more times than I care to admit. Just destroyed my whole entire face. Well, you see, I don't have any left. He's such a happy monkey. Look at him. Derp, derp. Oh. Web spinners! Oh! Oh, that's terrible. Holy crap!